HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. The first number that we're checking is the zonal pressure to the garage door. And that number is floating around 48 to 49 Pascal. So not a bad combination. And I just stepped on the hose. So I think that played into why the number just changed. But anyway, the garage is about 48 or 49 Pascal. Um, not 100%, but not significantly connected to the house either. The second space that we're reading is the master bathroom or master closet. And that space is basically negligible. 0 0.2 Pascal for zonal. It is not a significant contributor to the issues of this space. The next space that we are testing is the linen closet in the master bath. And it is not great. It is at five. And we know what's wrong with that room for the most part. There is a communication to the underside of the shower stall that I have yet to fix after cutting the hole in the wall. Anyway, we're going to move on to the master bath as a whole. The master bath as a whole is over 10, 10.7 Pascal for the master closet, master linen closet, master bathroom. That's a pretty significant contributor to the overall issues in this house. So this is not what I had expected to find. Well, hello there. I um, wanted to interject this um, short section into the video because I just thought of a great explanation as to why my zonal pressure is hugely different than it was originally. Um, so when I first did my zonal pressure, I didn't have any holes in the wall. I mean, I did, I had leakage, but I didn't have the holes that I have now between the master or in the master for the bedroom itself. And then the openings that I have in the first floor just below the master and the long story short on that we had a window that leaked water so we cut sheetrock out and um, so we have a hole in the house a couple of holes so there's a connection there that wasn't there to that level when we first tested the zonal pressure um, so the reduction in zonal pressure or the zonal pressure number from 36 or 38 down to 11 um, or 15, somewhere between there, um, is specifically related to those holes allowing the room to match pressure more with the rest of the house. So that's the explanation there. I was getting, I was on Facebook trying to um, collaborate with a couple of other creators and, um, well, January Garcia. And um, I'm sitting there texting it up, trying to explain the situation for a potential to understand what's going on. And as I'm sitting there writing the message, I discovered my stupidity 
at that moment. So that's why my master is not 36 or 38 or whatever pressure I had uh, originally found. Um, so yeah. I will have to go back and watch my other video that I did with Nate Adams, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that we had a number 36 or a 36 Pascal pressure differential between the entire master suite and the rest of the house. The zonal on the master was 36 out of 50. Um, 11.2 means that basically the master bedroom does not significantly contribute to the problems in the master bath. At least that's my takeaway at the moment. The office or game room, which is a bedroom, is not significantly contributing to the issues in this house. At 0.6 Pascal, it's pretty much completely not an issue. The spare bedroom is also entirely negligible as a contributing factor to the issues in this house. This is the secondary full bath in the hallway upstairs and it is notably more significant than the other rooms nearby. I will definitely need to dig in to see where we have deficiencies in that space. So, one of the things that the GOAT, Jenry Garcia, suggests is that we should um, mask off our supply registers whenever we do a zonal pressure test. So I wanted to do that as a repeat on the master suite spaces. Um, and get that data recorded independent of the original method that I use. So the master closet is obviously not a significant contributor, but it changes when I mask off the register. So check this out. The master closet zonal pressure was 0 0.2 originally. And now with that duct isolated, we've got a 0 0.6. So that's kind of an interesting adjustment or difference that I wouldn't have otherwise uh, looked for, um, except for the method that Jenry Garcia suggests. This number has changed as well. So we started out at 10.5, but after covering the duct in the master bath, we are in the range of 16 to 17. I like the difference and how it exaggerates or accentuates, I guess, the space's leakage without allowing the ductwork to play into the relation of the zonal pressure. So it looks like I'm going to have to change my method. This is where things start to get interesting. The master with all of the supplies covered is now basically at half of the blower door so 25 pascal pretty nuts the hallway bathroom upstairs is not hugely different but it has changed a little by closing off the supply duct the office game room is definitely a little different than it was before as well. So the guest bedroom or second bedroom upstairs is also changed. It's really kind of mind blowing to um, put an alternative method into practice and see how it makes a difference. I really like it. Alrighty. At this point, we have the all of the ductwork um, masked off. We're using some of the um, vent cover boxes, but I don't have enough for all of the registers in my house. So we've taped 
a bunch more. There's our primary return. It is the one closest to the air handler. It does not have a filter in it. It, my system has a large media filter at the air handler. Everything's closed up and I'm running on to duct leakage by itself.